So when we built Reflex, we had to basically throw all the rules away. There were too many physics elements that traditional fixtures used that weren't going to work in an LED environment. One of the big challenges of working with uh, traditional fixtures of this power range is just that, power. Uh, they require a lot of electricity. I mean, you can plug it right into a household circuit and get all the light you need out of this fixture. One of the great things about LED that we know even from our homes is that LEDs take very little power. There are 54 different 80 watt bicolor LED arrays in the tower. 54 of them. Each one of those contains over 100 LEDs. So you can imagine the density that we're getting out of that and the amount of heat that we would generate out of that. One of the things that's really different about it is that the LEDs are actually immersed in a cooling liquid. Now this is a dielectric fluid. We can put all of the leads and the wires directly in the fluid and not have any concerns. The great thing about it is, is that when you do immersion cooling, you're not only pulling the heat off the back of the LEDs, which is the way that typically you remove heat from LEDs, but we're pulling it off the front too, because the LED is completely submerged in the fluid. It's just really innovative in terms of how the team has chosen to accomplish this feat.